Welcome to Beware the Scare, my name is Tyler Style, and today we're going to be looking at the most profitable horror movie ever and how it changed horror as we know it today. Can you guess the movie that I'm describing? This found footage style horror movie follows a couple people where weird creepy shit starts to happen mostly at night and was only made for $15,000. Did you guess the Blair Witch Project? Because if that's the case, you're wrong. The movie we're talking about today is Paranormal Activity, which made its theatric debut in 2009 but was actually shot in 2006. This movie made $193,355,800 worldwide and only cost $15,000 to make. That means for every $1 spent, they made $12,890 back. That's a whole lot better than investing in BitConnect. <laughs> But why is Paranormal Activity so impactful and how did it change horror as we know it today? It wasn't the first movie that did found footage, it was only filmed in 10 days, the cast members weren't even given a script and they had to improv all their lines, and I know for damn sure it wasn't a masterpiece. I know it's bead time, but I have a little something I want to show you guys. Hey, anyway, uh, we're having very intense girl time right now, and we cannot be interrupted by Mika and his camera. This movie's recipe was about as good as Augie's Big Toe Stew. Now let's get into why paranormal activity changed the future of horror. There was a man who worked at Miramax as a movie distributor who had the chance to acquire the Blair Witch Project but declined to do so. He regretted it pretty quickly as it grossed over $200 million in theaters. That man is Jason Blum, and after what happened with the Blair Witch Project, he decided that he wanted to produce his very own found footage horror movie on a budget, and waited until the perfect time to do so and produced Paranormal Activity. Jason Blum decided to use the money he made from Paranormal Activity to fund his own production company, Blumhouse Productions. But before we start talking about Blumhouse, let's talk about how Paranormal Activity was made for so cheap. $15,000 might sound like a lot to you and I, but for making a movie, it's nothing. First time director Oren Pelly used his own house to film everything. They didn't rent out a house for the movie, and he also did all of the special effects himself on his own PC. The movie was only filmed in 10 days, and the two main characters Katie Featherston and Mika Slotes were only paid $500 for their performances. Also, there were a total of 8 characters, but only 5 of them made it into the theatrical release. So with paying the actors next to nothing, having the director use his own house as the set, and having him do all the special effects himself, Paranormal Activity was able to be made for next to nothing. Paranormal Activity was Blumhouse's second movie, and since then, Blumhouse has produced 67 movies, which are basically all horror with the exception of The Tooth Fairy. And they've been able to create some of the most well-known horror franchises today, such as Sinister, Insidious, and The Purge franchise. Because of their success, they can now spend 3 to 5 million on each movie, but usually won't spend any more than that so they can at least break even on their movies. Jason Blum says that he will let directors pick one of three options. They can either have a lot of characters, a lot of locations, or a lot of stunts and special effects. When talking about budgeting, the example he gives is if that a waiter says a line, it will cost $550 for that actor, but if no lines are said, then the actor would only cost $75. But with their low budget films, Blumhouse has come out with some real stinkers such as Sinister 2, The Gallows, and Ouija. But they've also come out with some of my favorite horror movies of the decade with Halloween, Get Out, and Split. One thing's for sure though, Blumhouse isn't going anywhere. Their movies are low risk, high reward, and they rarely lose money on movies. Because of this, we will see Blumhouse crank out horror movies for years to come. If Paranormal Activity was never created, Blumhouse most likely would never have been successful and there wouldn't be as many low budget horror movies as there are nowadays. Personally, I like that Blumhouse is around, and I enjoy being able to go see a new horror movie every couple months in the theaters. But not everyone is like that, and would probably rather have a production company like A24, who produced Hereditary, Midsommar, The Witch, and The Lighthouse. A24 doesn't come out with too many horror movies, but when they do, they are very good ones. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Blumhouse horror movie is, and if you liked Paranormal Activity and any of the sequels. My name is Tyler Style, and this has been Beware the Scare. Thanks for watching my video on how Paranormal Activity changed horror as we know it today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to help me out and like it. If you love horror movies and content about horror movies, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you never miss a horror-related video. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll catch you guys later.